Hey guys, welcome to part two of the AI comparisons with Farmer 3. And in this one, I'm going to be looking at B Combat. Alright, so one thing I realize it's really not fair to judge B Combat at this point because it truly is kind of in a beta stage. Version 1 hasn't even been released. But you can certainly see some, you know, where it's going. And again, it's single player only, it's not really meant for multiplayer. But uh, nonetheless, we're testing it out. Alright, so first thing, again, yeah, same syntax scenario. Smoke deployment, that's uh, number one, which is awesome. You can see these guys are flanking a lot nicer. They're shooting, which seems like they're shooting a lot more. Uh, this guy is, oh, very nice. There's something on the ground. That was a running throw, that's awesome. This guy's laying some suppressive fire down. And these guys are trying to find a way around these structures here, it seems like. So they are covering each other as they're crossing the road, which seems awesome. That guy's moving up. And compared to vanilla, where these guys kind of just charge you know, the front, these guys seem like they're more the movement going around, which is great. Alright, let's see what our blue four do. Oh, we got another team on the other side. Does. Oh, this guy's actually entering the building, so very good. That is awesome. Checking out the photos. Checking out the red there. Hopefully I don't get shot. Okay, another great thing about Geo 4, much like Geo... Uh, I'm sorry, another great thing, i got to stop saying that, about B-Combat, you'll see guys surrender. Now, one comment about B-Combat, all of these things are customizable. One of the things that annoyed me initially about B-Combat is that it by default does a lot of a lot of things uh, it takes away all night vision goggles from all operators so you have to manually add those there is a configuration line in the uh, configuration file where you can disable that so all those things are disabled there's just certain things that are on by default that are a little bit odd uh, maybe maybe the author just wants to demonstrate what the mod can do uh, number two is a lot of these guys will surrender right away. B Combat also enables you to change the hit detection. Uh, not the hit detection, excuse me, the hit um, damage. All right. Six. Get support so by default, soldier. if you remember Op 4 guys, everybody on the forums, you know, stating you got to hit them five or six times before they go down. Uh, with B Combat, you can change a variable and increase the damage by 50%, where now you can hit these guys two to three times, depending on, you know, obviously placement, and you can actually get a kill, so that's really good, good news. Alright, let's check our map again. This guy's using Hug in the Building, it's really nice there. Oh, these guys are a little bit of a stalemate here. Let's check our map. Oh, for at this point. Alright. Let's check to see if Op4 made their flanking maneuver. Okay, this guy's hanging out here. And I think he's just kind of doing sec a security thing at this point. But uh, Op4 numbers are pretty low right now. So they're just kind of fighting this. Area. Now remember, the only waypoint that was given, that was a grenade that was thrown. That's awesome. The only waypoint that was given was a uh, sentry waypoint. Alright. These guys are just kind of camping here. Setting security. Let's see if these guys move up. Oh, very nice. Cover. Peeking around the building here, so that's awesome. Awesome knees. Oh, yeah, these guys are, are, are doing it. They're staying crouched, which is pretty normal to even vanilla, but I think even more so using B combat. And 
One thing you'll notice with B combat is these guys will use a good amount of grenades. I've had many grenades thrown at me in uh, various scenarios where uh, it just makes it that much more realistic. Um, a lot of titles don't feature too many grenades uh, with uh, artificial intelligence. It's just kind of a you know a, a player-driven thing. You throw grenades out, but these guys are doing a great job. Uh, the last point about B combat before I finish up is that the surrender um, surrender seems to be a little bit excessive uh, on prior mission I had probably half of this entire squad this guy is so tactical he is leaning in a surrender position leaning behind cover in a surrender position how tactical is that uh, but they will throw a lot of grenades and they will surrender, it seems like, excessively. So, see, he got three out of four that surrendered, the four out of four, so both sides surrendered at this point. Which looks very odd. Because I think. <laughs> wow. This guy's in the middle, he's not making any chances. And uh, again, another tactical dude. The uh, this American has got this tactical guy peeking behind cover as well. So that's awesome. I'm not being sarcastic. I actually think that's pretty, pretty funny, and uh, and pretty tactical, pretty cool. It just shows that they're actually using that that lean feature, which is great. All right, dudes. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bring her out.